Welcome to Pool Addiction, where I like to do pool and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pool and billiards related for that matter. And I was just finishing up my update to the what's in the bag video and it kind of hit me. Why not put a Christmas video together for those who are struggling to find a gift for their pool player? And with that said, I looked at the date and I kind of realized I better hurry up and get this video put together to give it to you in time to order one of those last minute gifts. Now with that said, I came up with a top 10 list of gifts of under $20 that a pool player might like for Christmas. For those of you that are turning into this years later after 2023, this is based on December 2023 prices, so keep that in mind. If you haven't figured it out already, pool players can be really particular with what they like and dislike. So I wanna preface this video by saying, it helps to know your pool player a little bit so that you don't pick something up that they may not like. But that's kind of like all gifts out there, isn't it? You don't know what they are and are not gonna like unless you know them. This list is in no particular order and I pulled it from info from two different uh, popular websites out there for pool players. And that's Pool Dog and Seabirds. I'm not affiliated in any way with either site and I don't receive any commission for promoting any of these products, nor do I have any coupons or discount codes, so please don't ask. Some of these items I currently use while others I've tried at one time or another. What I also found is that there's not much of a price difference between the two different sites. However, I did see that Seabirds was just slightly more expensive on average. I will leave links in the description below so that you can get to the items pretty easily that are on this list. So let's get into this list. Number 10 is quarter holders. If your pool player plays in a lot of places where there's coin op tables, this, something, this might be something they can use. Now I'd suggest that you see if they don't already have one of these because if your player's been playing for a while, they may already have one. There are many different designs out there so you can pick an image that fits the best for their personality and they're fairly inexpensive too at around $4.95. Number nine is cue holders. Now like coin holders, your player may already have one of these if they've been playing for a while, so make sure before you buy. Now there are many different brands out there, types, styles of cue holders, and some are much more expensive than $20. However, something like the famous cue claw is will come in on average uh, in the $20 range. You can find them as small as a single holder, as well as big, all the way up to five cues. So, and of course, the bigger you go, the higher the price. Number eight, burnishing papers. So your pool player needs to keep their cue shaft smooth and clean, and these burnishing papers can just help do just that. However, this is not meant for carbon fiber shafts. It's only meant for wood shafts. Essentially, this is a pack of a few different papers that are like ultra high grit sandpaper. The pack you can find on Pool Dog is uh, the NYX Edge Burnishing Papers. And I have not used that particular brand, but I have used the McDermott's in the past. And they come in fairly inexpensive at $7.95. Number seven, Q-Silk. Just like bur uh, burnishing papers, Q-Silk is a product that helps keep your Q-shaft clean and slick. Just like burnishing papers though, this product is only meant for wood shafts and not carbon fiber. There are specific cleaners out there for carbon fiber shafts, but I did not go out there and look for any of those. However, they are similarly priced to Q-Silk products. One thing to note about carbon fiber cleaners, each company promotes their own brand of shaft cleaners. However, they're pretty much all the same. So going back to Q-Silk products though, you can get this uh, the cleaner part for around $4.95 and the conditioner for about $5.95. So if you can get you can get both of them for under $10 and turn around throw the burnishing papers in and you'll be still under $20 for everything. 4, 5 and 6 are all about chalks and I decided to pick these based on what you get for the price. Also, this is where your pool player can get very opinionated about what he likes and dislikes. But hey, they aren't spending their money on it. So maybe this is the time to give it some give them something new to try. Number six is Predator Chalk. Now this is the original Predator Chalk and you can get a pretty good deal for this for five pieces for about $9.50. What's the nice thing about having more pieces of chalk at a cheaper price is if you leave it at the pool hall, you're not out of a lot of money. And if you have a pool player that's very forgetful, it might be pretty useful. Now, do I like Predator Chalk? Uh, it's not my favorite, but the price isn't bad. What I hate most about Predator Chalk is it's very, very messy. It leaves a chalk all over the place and it marks up the cue ball with very little effort. Number five is Magic Chalk. And I like Magic Chalk and I've used it for years. It's less dirty than Predator and it lasts a decent amount of time as well as stays on your tip longer. Now I did a review a while back on Magic Chalk and I'll place a link up here somewhere. And you essentially get two for $10.25. And if I had to choose between Predator and Magic Chalk, I would pick Magic Chalk between the two. Now with that said, I've used Magic Chalk for years and I, I love it, 
However, I don't use it anymore, and that leads me into my number four on the list, which is Town V10 chalk. And this chalk is awesome. It's super clean and consistent. It's very similar to their pyro, but the color's different. But that isn't the only thing different between the two. The V10 is easy to see on the coverage of your cue, whereas the pyro is harder to tell. Don't get me wrong, the pyro does cover the tip when I first used it, but it doesn't do as good of a job showing you that uh, when you're using it. That's why I prefer V10 and I would recommend it over the pyro. However, some people just don't like green chalk and that's where you can give them the pyro instead because it comes in blue as well as a few other colors. And they're the same price at $18.95 roughly per piece. Yes, that's what I said, $18.95. And most pool players won't spend that kind of money. Um, however, it's not their money, it's yours. So treat them to it and see if they like it. Now, I wouldn't recommend V10 chalk or Town chalk to, for the beginner just because it's a very expensive premium piece of chalk that they don't really need right away. And I would wait until they actually get into the game a little bit more before getting them into something like a premium chalk like that. So my last three picks are tip tools. So number three is the Action Black Tip Tapper. I've owned this a while back and it's nice. It doesn't shape your tip but it's designed to scuff the, uh, for, to give your tip a better chalk adhesion. And you also lightly tap it to give a compression to the fibers when you rough it up. And this comes in at $6.95. Number two, the all-in-one tip tool. Now I've used this uh, before and it's really good and I still use it to, the, to this day as well on occasion. It shapes, scuffs, fixes mushrooming and burnishes your tip. It literally can do everything. And there's several companies out there that have copycatted the original design, so you may see it as a different name elsewhere. The only thing I don't like about this tool though is it's replaceable sandpaper pads, which it uses as the abrasive to shape your tip. And I've never had great luck with replacing them. The replacement pads are meant to adhere into the, the tool and the sticker material, the adhesion material, the sticker material, uh, doesn't stick very well to the tool and I, they've come off on me uh, several times. Now you can find this tip tool at $17.95 on these websites. So that leads us to the number one, last one on this list, no particular order again, the Willard tip tool. I've been using the Willard tip tool for a long time now and I absolutely love it. It lasts forever. There's no replacing any sandpaper pads. The only downside is to it is the shaping and scuffing is only for one diameter size per tool. Now I've done a review on this before. You can check, a, check it out by clicking on the link above here. And each diameter tool is $10.95. And this, you kind of have to know a little bit about your pool player on whether what tip diameter size they like to play with. But when in doubt, you can get both for a little over $20 and they can have both. So that's it. Hopefully this helps you pick out a gift for your pool player. And by all means, if I've missed anything, add it to this list by placing it in the comments below. Now, I wanted to get this video out before, uh, as quickly as possible before the season uh, was too late and you get that last minute Christmas gift in. But my other video is pretty much done and I expect to have it out in about a week or so. And that is the update to what's in my bag. After that, I'm also working on the Defy Shaft editing right now. I gotta redo a couple of things. As always, thank you for watching and like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas.